Keep washing the tractor. I want it clean, Gianna. Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I got just a quick episode for, I guess, this first portion. I talked about getting some plate weights for next to nothing, and I'll show you what they look like here. So, as you can see, they got some rust on them. They're not beautiful. These are the 10 pounders. I got a couple 25 pounders sitting over on the bench. And then I got another 25 pounder actually bolted onto the back of the, the G1800 right now. But I wanna, I wanna get them painted up. I wanna, but I first need to get the rust off of them. So what I am gonna try is Evapo Rust. It's super safe rust remover. After all stripped down, uh, we're gonna be sanding them and then giving them a shot of paint. And then eventually they'll be mounted onto this draw bar. So I'm gonna start by just setting a couple of these weights down in the tub. Talking to Ross on the land the other day, and he had gotten some product similar to the Evapo Rust. He said it worked amazing. So one gallon in, I don't have full coverage. I got a few more weights here I want to throw in. Putting the second gallon in. And they say you can continue to use this until the solution is completely black. So we're going to start with just these 10 pounders. Um, Maybe let them set for a day, and then I'll put take them out, put the 25 pounders in. If there's some that are still pretty rusty on the 10 pounders, probably put them back in for another day. So it's been two days since we put the weights into this tub and put the uh, evapor rust in. So let's we'll see how it's looking. Put the lid off here. The only reason I put the lid on is to keep the evaporation down. Um, I did move things around a little bit, but. What we got here's one of the weights now there is a film on these so i'm going to rinse that off in a bucket of warm water this is one of the ones that was really really rusty and you can see it's pretty much cleared up get a rag all in all i'd say that looks pretty good hey look this is canada Ross on the land. This came from your mother country. So I'd say this is definitely paintable. I'll clean it with um, probably some brake cleaner or something like that. Try to get any other contaminants off before I shoot it with paint. So I'm going to finish cleaning these up. All right, so next we're going to put two 25 pounders in. This one in particular we'll keep close eye on. It's got a lot of flaking paint. I'm going to try to get as much of that off and the other debris as possible just by brushing it. If you look at that back side, it is heavily rusted. So I'm curious on this one how it's going to turn out. We'll get it in for the most part, but what I'll do is just rotate it over the next. 24 hours. Well, it's been 24 hours since we put those 25 pound weights in. I did go out and check them a little bit and actually used a wire brush on that one that was really, really bad. I think my fluid is completely spent now because it doesn't appear to be pulling any more of that rust off. So I've scrubbed them as good as I can or as good as I want to with the wire brush and I'm gonna pull them out, rinse them good. We're gonna dump the fluid and put new fluid in I picked up some more today and uh, we're gonna let them set another 24 hours and see if that doesn't finish the process. So I'm gonna hook you up here so you can see what it looks like. So this one here was the one that wasn't terrible bad and it looks pretty good. We'll give it a light rinse here. So it looks good enough that it'll paint. You kind of see it there. Here is, this is the one that was just totally disgusting. You can see it. The stuff worked the magic on it. There's just a lot of heavy deposit on it still. On this side, it looks really good. This side obviously was down in the mud or the dirt and it's not quite as good. So last time I put our two gallons in, this time I'm only gonna put a gallon in and we're gonna just put the one weight. We're gonna throw some of that up on top so it sets. It won't fully submerge it, but the heavily rusted areas will be submerged and um, then we'll flip it 
scrub a little bit more and uh, see what we can get done with it. Like I said, this was the worst side. Actually, I'm going to put it on top so I can ensure that it's got coverage, not that there was an air bubble. And uh, I'm going to let that set another day. We'll flip it probably tomorrow morning. Let it set the rest of the day. We'll see what it looks like. So I just pulled out this weight. Um, I did use a wire brush on it some. So you can see it's probably better than the chemical would have just done by itself. And if you look at it, there's still a buildup of some stuff in the lettering mainly. And what I'm going to do there is put a little wire brush on um, maybe my angle grinder or a, a drill and try to get down in there, clean out as much of that stuff as possible. Might even take a torch and heat it and kind of burn out some of that stuff. But really, the chemical, the evaporust, comparing it to, to what you just saw, I'll put a little clip it here, comparing it to that, to this, this thing looks amazing. And I didn't think it was gonna clean up this good. So a little light brushing and we'll be able to shoot that with paint. It's down the, the bare cast iron. And well, we're back and uh, as you can see, I've got all these weights painted up and I think they, they painted up pretty nice. Kind of hard to see with the, the darkness of them. I didn't take any footage of the actual painting of them. Uh, I figured everybody's seen somebody spray paint something once in their life, so that wasn't really necessary. But I got my hardware here. A couple uh, six inch long grade eight. Don't really need grade eight. Grade five would have been fine probably. But uh, three quarter inch bolts, a couple nuts, some washers. I've moved the tractor ahead just enough that I can kind of work underneath it or work on it here. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt these up and see how it all looks. All right, so I've lowered, I've lowered the um, three point hitch down some. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it a bit more, I think. That's all the way down. Kind of how I was envisioning this. I've got 60 pounds of these uh, weights which is six of them. I got two 25 pound weights, and then I got two of these 10 pounders that are a little bit different shape. And I was thinking stack those on top of the 25s, and then uh, that would put uh, 70 pounds on the bottom, and then I'll put 60 pounds on the top. That way the bottom always hangs down. And 20, 30, 35 over right here. This one I'll get a full nut on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a washer on that. What it is is this one uh, 25 pound weight thicker than the other one. Now we're gonna rotate. And we're gonna torque those up. to go back over to the hardware store I'll get a little bit longer of a bolt. These are six inch. I'll probably get seven inch. And you can bolt lock washers as well. But for now, I gotta 
good looking threads on that one. That was the one I was concerned about. This one's almost completely flush. And they're torque, they're grade eight. So the threads should hold pretty good. Yeah, you got 50 and then you got 80. So you got 130 pounds here. And then I've got another 40 pounds over on the other tractor that'll go on here. So actually I need to buy quite a bit longer bolts. So I forgot to take those into account. And uh, then the bar itself is probably, I don't know, 20 pounds. So right now I got about 150 pounds hanging here. When I add the other weights on, uh, I'll get right around that 200 pounds. And that should be a decent amount of counterweight for uh, most of the loader work with the tires being loaded right now. Uh, I should be able to basically do most of what I do. If I need more than that, I'll hook onto the tiller. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hoosier Helpers. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Got a little bonus footage here to show you. I'm going to see what happens to a, a rare earth magnet inside of a balloon when I put it into that spent evapo rust. I want to see if it'll collect any metal. So what we have here is a jar of the used evapo rust. I got a stack of rare earth magnets. I'm going to put it inside this balloon. And I'm going to drop it into the solution to see if the iron is attracted to the, the iron in the solution is attracted to the magnet. Maybe just a little bit right there on the end. You see it's kind of black. But not as much as I thought it would be. I figured it would be completely coated there a little bit as well. It's right up there at the poles of the magnet. Let's do another little test. This is a bucket of that used solution. The other I had filtered using the coffee filter. And it is picking up some right there on the poles. But not near as much as I figured it would. Probably if you let it set for a while, it would accumulate more. But really, not not a whole lot there. Anyway, well, thanks again. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bonus footage. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.